Today I want to talk about how to follow Christ instead of being blown around by the winds of ideology or propaganda. And to do that, we're going to learn from Benedict of Nursia, a Christian leader from the 6th century. That's why I'm making a pasta dish that originates from Benedict's hometown, pasta a la Norsina. Norsia is known for their sausages from the region's pigs, so we're starting with an easy homemade sausage. In a bowl, add one pound of ground pork, two garlic cloves minced, one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, and a pinch of nutmeg. Stir to combine, then add two tablespoons of a dry white wine and mix vigorously for about two minutes until the pork becomes a bit sticky. Cover and refrigerate for at least an hour, but leaving it in the fridge overnight will give you great results. Form the sausage into patties and add them to a large skillet over medium-high heat with a little bit of oil. Let them brown on the first side for a few minutes, then flip them over, add one diced onion, and use a wooden spoon or spatula to break up the sausage and mix in the onion. While this is going, generously salt a pot of water, bring it to a boil, and cook one pound of pasta until al dente. Once the sausage is cooked through, increase the heat and add half a cup of your dry white wine. Scrape up any brown bits from the pan and let the wine reduce by half. Then add one cup of heavy cream and stir frequently while the sauce thickens. Season to taste with salt, pepper, and a pinch of nutmeg. Then add your pasta and half a cup of the pasta water to the sauce. Even though I've made this before, I started with too small of a skillet and had to move to a larger one. Stir this over high heat and when the sauce begins coating the noodles well, remove from the heat and add a quarter cup of freshly grated Pecorino Romano. Stir rapidly to combine and add spoonfuls of pasta water if the cheese starts clumping. Serve with more Pecorino, freshly ground black pepper, and a little nutmeg. Benedict of Nursia became more well known after the 2017 publication of the book The Benedict Option by Rod Dreher. Dreher argues that in order to maintain the faith in a culture that is anti-Christian in various ways, we need to get serious about Christian formation. He draws on Benedict with inspiration from philosopher Alasdair MacIntyre because Benedict is known for the Rule of St. Benedict, which outlined a way of life for monks. Benedict's rule was built around the concept of ora et labora, pray and work. The monks would spend about eight hours a day praying and about eight hours a day working, usually some form of manual labor. And the purpose of this structure was to orient the monk's life toward a specific goal of Christ-like character. Benedict understood human nature enough to know that what we do shapes who we are. In the modern West, we have this notion that identity is found by looking within. It's something you bring out of yourself to show the world. But the reality is, you're being shaped into a specific kind of person by the way you live, the things that you do each and every day. If you spend a lot of time watching TikTok videos, your attention span will get shorter. But if you spend more time reading books, you'll be able to pay attention to one thing for much longer. God forms our character through the ways that we live. This is just part of what it means to be human. So if you're not intentional about the way you live in order to be shaped by the Christian story, then what story are you being shaped by? Our world is full of competing stories that want to pull you in different directions. And with modern technology, the propaganda of these competing ideologies is more potent than ever. You can see the results of this in the way that the church is becoming increasingly divided on a variety of issues. Despite all the criticism of the book, Rod Dreher was right about the Benedict Option. We need intentional formation. Keeping the gospel, the Christian story, at the center as the thing guiding your entire life requires intentionality. It doesn't happen by accident, and it certainly won't happen from just one hour a week on Sunday morning. The way you live your life shapes who you are. This is one of the reasons I want to get people to cook more, because cooking forces you to slow down and literally get your hands on reality. In cooking, you engage with the world as a gift from God for our nourishment and our enjoyment. To see what cooking can teach you about the importance of spiritual formation, check out this video.